Okay, what we have here is the uh, U3 connected up here on my bench, and we've got the bench power supply. Uh, I've got a camera here maintaining focus on the power supply, and the actual U3 itself connected up to the LAN, a USB mouse, and a USB keyboard. As you can see, there, a USB stick as well power input coming from the regulated supply and then via the micro HDMI we've got the video input on the monitor. Now what we're going to do here is uh, start it up and we're going to see the current usage dependent on the actual CPU usage of uh, various applications starting up etc. So as you can see now there's no current in use, and of course it's pretty much dead. So we start it off. There we go. So you've got somewhere between 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and it ramps up to 0 0.7, 0 0.8. And now we have something on the screen. Coming back down already. And uh, it's logging in. Very quickly, we should be up into X. And here we are. So, first of all, the, there we go. So, give it that. And we have the Chromium tab. Let's have a look at it. Ask it to restore. So, it goes straight onto the forum. You see it's normal web browser, go into news for example, and into this here, which is obviously our posts on our various cases. As you can see, it's hanging around 0.4 to 0.5 of an amp as we're scrolling around. CPU usage is some um, 4%, pretty much not doing anything. Memory, 247 megabytes used out of 2 gigs. So, not much going on. Anyway, let's put this in there. It's down. If I stop here, and I'll have the temperature of the Heat of the actual unit, which is now currently 40 degrees. Let's start top, and these obviously, uh, if you remember these, this session from a previous session we've had going. So now we have top, and uh, let's do a CPU burn. First of all, one core. And immediately now you see that one CPU core is fully in use. The temperature is now approximately 50, 51 degrees. And uh, the current has come up to 0.6 of an amp. <clears throat> now let this stabilise a little while. Up to 52 degrees. So at that point six approximately, and of course we can still operate the system here and move things around and do whatever. It's not really a problem. <clears throat> now let's go up to the next one. So up to a fifty-three, fifty-four already. Let's uh, run burn Cortex A nine again. This time. The second CPU or second core is actually fully engaged. We have a temperature now of 63, 64. A uh, current reading of 0.8 of an amp. Now that will probably ramp up a bit more, 65. Give that a few seconds. I'm 
that seems to have steadied out at 65, 66. Again, burn cortex A9, so that's now three cores. So now we have three of the four cores fully occupied. And now you're touching just over the amp, 1.1 amp. Varying so just over 1.1 amps. And now maybe I'll try this might lock. It becomes slightly unresponsive if I use all four cores, but we'll try it. Oh yes, and the temperature now is 75, 76 degrees on the heatsink. There's no fan on this heatsink, so this is passively cooled, 1.7 gigahertz. 77, now we're going to run all four cores, pegged 100%. 85, 88 degrees, 1.45 amps, 90 degrees. 91. It's getting pretty warm. Actually, I might risk touching that. So it doesn't feel too bad, considering. I'm hitting at 92, 93 degrees. 1.4, 1.5 amps. And, uh, I think we might have some thermal throttling. Coming on, we've just lost a couple of three degrees, and the uh, actual current has come down to almost one amp. So it obviously won't hold there, beating the course to death for too long. I'll just drop that. There's no real point. So basically, of all four cores, you're probably talking of the order of one and a half amps. Now we're coming back down and we just have normal operation. I'm already down to 63, 62, 61 degrees. Already 60. Now let's try something a bit more uh, interesting for normal users. And that would be to uh, let's have a look here. Look on the SD card. Now we have big book front bunny, so that will run on here with FFmpeg. Run that full screen, that's 1080p, so a 1080p movie. So now we're playing 1080p movie in Exubuntu. Whatever is running in the background now, which is probably not a lot to be honest. At 0 0.7, 0 0.8 amps, varying a bit, just over to one now. And as you can see, that's a full 1080p stream, not really troubling the scorer. I just uh, stop the bunny there. It was up to about 65 degrees. So no real problem. Now, if you're going to try some other software out, let's go into, say, uh, for Office Writer. Let's just start that, see what that's like. Let's come up. Of course, there's not really much going on, and uh, as such, it doesn't really make much difference. Let's start something like uh, what else have we got here? GIMP. And of course, we've got the normal GIMP page, GIMP page there. CPU now. 
still not a lot, a bit more memory usage now to 334 megs. Current 0.4 amps. And let's say here, take a screenshot, snap one of those. Let's have four here, whatever. It's great. So now we can get a brush. Let me just like that, paint something on here. Hello. World. So, <clears throat> normal amp usage then, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 an amp. CPU load, load average of one ish. No real problem. There we go. Back playing movies. So we have two workspaces. Not really a problem. So generally speaking, up to what one and a half amps. One amps if you're playing playing uh, full 1080p streams. Half an amp or less for normal usage. So really not too much of a problem for a 2 amp power supply, probably still an healthy margin.